Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joel Reed, back again with another one, and this is SWPL Gaming. I think it's safe to say that I've been in this handheld gaming scene for not a very long time. But in the short time that I have been doing these unboxings, China has been pumping out so many of these handhelds, especially in the mid price range. We're looking at the, you know, the 75 pounds and up range. We've been seeing those flying. I found this one on AliExpress. This is the FC Pocket Max. I don't know if it's by Family Pocket. It just says FC Pocket, obviously, for Famicom and Max. I don't know what the first version is, but this is the Max version of whatever that was. And the thing that attracted me to this device is it looks remarkably like a Game Boy, except it's more of a horizontal device as opposed to get like a Game Boy being a vertical device. And because it's at such a low price of what, just under $17, I mean, I just thought, you know what, let me just have a look and check it out and see what it's about. I've not got the greatest of expectations for this device. The shipping wasn't included in that. I paid an extra $4.33 for shipping, but I guess that varies depending on where you're ordering it from and where they're shipping it to. China are pumping out a load of these super budget devices. We got the what, is it the RS60, the really thin one that I had on my channel? I think I got that what last September, I believe, I can't remember. Then we had the the game on console. And then I've even had, the, uh, which I did recently, which was that little TV one that I had. And in between that, we had various other super budget handhelds, but none of those really grabbed my attention. From what I've seen out of these super budget handhelds, this one has the biggest screen, which is 4.3 inches. Also, there's apparently 228 games already built into this console. Probably gonna be a few duplicates in there. But look, I've been rambling on long enough. Let's get into this unboxing right now. Let's just dive straight in. Cover off. The unit is right here and <laughs> do you know what? It's actually looking a little bit wide over here. But let's put that down for a second. We'll get back to that in a moment. Let's see what's inside the box. The usual. Got your AV out. So you can plug that into your TV. You got your micro USB cable right there as usual. You got your strap, handy. You got to use a manual right here, although I wouldn't, I don't think it's gonna be particularly difficult to use this device, so I'm probably not gonna need it. That's all the fun stuff out of the way. Let's have a look at this unit. Oh, what? All right. It looks as if it's a bit scratched right here. You can see it's reflecting off the screen there, so I'm probably gonna... Yeah, that's a screen protector. Thank God for that. So you can peel that off. But the design... Um... <laughs> I like it. Ish. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, but it, it looks really... It looks pretty good. I mean, look, from the front here, you got your start, your select, your A, B, your X, Y buttons that are sort of in the a Game Boy kind of color. It's a bit bright compared to the regular Game Boy buttons. You got your up, down, left, right on the D-pad, which is sort of blended into the unit itself. It's gonna be easy playing these NES games with these controls. It's, it's not gonna be an issue. You look at the bottom, you got your headphone jack right there, which is cool. We'll go around the side. This is where you put your strap, your hand strap. Take it to the top here. Micro USB charging port. AV out. Your reset button, I had to quickly check. You got your volume wheel right here as well and then you've got your power button. Let's take a look at the back. Unscrew that off. It does have a flat battery like what you see in those old Nokia phones or some of these other cheap handhelds, but you also got the option of putting your own batteries in there. I believe it's triple A's, I think maybe four. We'll have to have a look and see what's inside. You got your screws here. <laughs> you got your QC pass covering up this screw. Go back to the front. Look, yeah, it's not bad. For, for the price that you pay, this doesn't look particularly bad. Is it sturdy? It is. It's, it is sturdy. I've seen more expensive devices that don't feel as sturdy as this. This one doesn't feel too bad. Buttons, the start and select, they're plastic. I was kind of hoping that they'd be rubber just to bring back that whole, you know, nostalgic feeling, but they're not. These buttons, they seem to press okay. 
decent enough they spring back they're not bad at all and i like what they've done with the speaker grill you know that's reminiscent to the game boy as well even though this is a nes console they've pretty much copied sort of the color scheme of what the game boy used to be or what the game boy is so before i power on the device let's just take off this screen protector i want to get good visuals here and that came off that was actually really satisfying Guys, if you like the content that I'm putting out there, don't forget to smash that like button and just really smash that like button. It does great work with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Let's go. So yeah, the FC Pocket Max, great value for money. The display, it isn't bad to say the least. And for that price, there is way worse displays out there. Out of the super budget NES devices, this actually might be my favorite. Again, great value for your money. You're getting a big 4.3 inch display, which makes it really comfortable to play. It looks a lot like a Game Boy, and that's one of the biggest reasons why I picked this up in the first place. Yeah, you got your added extra X and Y buttons. I've yet to find out what games those work on. But overall, it's actually a pretty decent looking device. It's sturdy. And you know what? If somebody got this for me as a gift, I'd actually be pretty happy about it. Guys, let me know what you think about this device in the comments below. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you down the road. Take care and stay safe. Peace.